Hello everyone, and welcome to Pulp Crazy. I'm your host, Jason Aiken. This week on Pulp Crazy, I will be discussing two different Cthulhu Mythos round robin tales. Wikipedia lists a round robin story as thus. A round robin story, or simply round robin, is a type of collaborative fiction or storytelling, in which a number of authors each write chapters of a novel, or pieces of a story, in rounds. Round-robin novels were invented in the 19th century, and later became a tradition, particularly in science fiction. First up this week is The Challenge from Beyond. Written by pulp authors C. L. Moore, A. Merritt, H. P. Lovecraft, Robert E. Howard, and Frank Belknap Long. The story was originally published in the September 1935 issue of Fantasy Magazine, which was a fanzine. The Challenge from Beyond is the brainchild of editor Julius Schwartz who commissioned two sets of authors for Round Robin Tales. One group is the previously mentioned Weird Tales writers, while he also assembled another group consisting of science fiction writers Stanley Weinbaum, Donald Wadry, E.E. E. Doc Smith, Harl Vincent, and Murray Leinster. I haven't read the science fiction ver version, but given that lineup, I am definitely interested. The Cthulhu Mythos Round Robin by the Weird Tales crew is what I will be focusing on in this episode. Luckily, this version is readily available to read on a number of websites and ebooks, which I'll link to in the show notes. And I'll also include a PDF I created using the wiki source text. I found the challenge from beyond to be a lot of fun. In some ways, it resembles a modern day role playing game, with each author becoming the game master for their portion of the story. The challenge from beyond opens with George Campbell, who is on vacation camping in the Canadian wilderness. Here he discovers a strange object, a crystal cube of unknown origin. This strange crystal transports his consciousness to a body on another planet. Even though each author has their own individual style and feel, I felt the narrative of the story was actually pretty consistent and cohesive for the most part. C.L. Moore sets up the story and introduces the main character in the Crystal Cube. Abraham Merritt initiates George Campbell's transportation. Then H.P. Lovecraft describes where he has gone and also drops references that firmly set the story in his Cthulhu Mythos cycle. Robert E. Howard's contribution picks up after Lovecraft's, and this causes the story to go more into a R.E.H. Blood and Thunder style direction. But it still works well. Frank Belknap Long rules with it and brings the story to a conclusion. Out of these five authors, I have read Robert E. Howard the most, followed by Lovecraft, then C.L. Moore. I haven't had the chance to read anything by A. Merritt or Frank Belknap Long yet. But after I do, I'll return to the challenge from beyond to see just how much of their own style they put into their portions of the story and how evident that is. I'll include links to download and read The Challenge from Beyond for free in the show notes. After you read The Challenge from Beyond, be sure to read 
the Eldritch Force, a modern-day Cthulhu Mythos Round Robin, by Peter Rollick, Glenn Owen Barras, Brian M. Sammons, Bruce L. Pretty, Robert M. Price, Rick Lay, and David Conyers, which was recently published in the February 2014 issue of the Lovecraft e-zine. While it's a modern day Cthulhu mythos tale, it is actually set in the aftermath of World War II. It also acts as a sequel to the challenge from beyond. I'll be covering the Eldritch Force this week in a bonus episode. I'll link to the Lovecraft Easing's website where you can read the Eldritch Force for free, as well as obtain ebook or print editions in the show notes. I'll be back later this week with the Eldritch Force. Pulp Crazy is located at pulpcrazy.com. I'm at pulpcrazy on Twitter and facebook.com slash pulpcrazy. My YouTube channel can be located at youtube.com slash pulpcast. You can also email me at pulpcrazy at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later this week.